What's up, mga kasayan? So, we're going to talk about animals and how animals share common characteristics. One of the main classifications of living things is the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is highly diverse and comprises over a million of known species. In this chapter, you will learn about the animal kingdom and its contribution to our world. You will learn the distinct characteristics of each group of animals in the animal kingdom and how it affects the other animal species. For our chapter concept map, animals have their importance. Animals have characteristics, which includes presence of backbone. The presence of backbone may be used to classify animals into invertebrates or vertebrates. Invertebrates include sponges, nidarians, flatworms, roundworms, segmented worms, mollusks, arthropods, and echidoderms. However, vertebrates include birds, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. Have you ever visited a zoo or an ocean park? What do you see there? You have probably seen animals like elephants, tigers, lions, jellyfishes, stingrays, turtles, and fishes. Animals thrive in so many places on Earth, from the deepest parts of the sea to the peak of the highest mountain. All animals share common characteristics. Here are some general characteristics of animals. Animals are heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are organisms that rely on other organisms for food. They gain energy and nutrients by eating other organisms. Unlike plants, they do not manufacture their own food. Different animals eat different kinds of food. Some animals may be considered as carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, detritivores, and insectivores. There are animals that eat on dead and decomposing organisms. Yes, these are called detritivores. Animals are also considered to be multicellular. Cells are the building blocks of living things. The simplest living things are made up of only one cell, the others of many cells. Cells provide structure for the body, take in nutrients, and carry out specific functions necessary to keep an organism alive. Next, animals also reproduce sexually and asexually. Because reproduction is a vital function of all living things. Animals reproduce to perpetuate life and ensure that their kind lives on. Reproduction allows the passing of hereditary traits from parents to offspring. Most animals reproduce sexually. This process involves the union of the sperm and egg cell. Hydras, sponges, and echinoderms reproduce asexually. Animals are also capable of active movement. Majority of animals are motile. Motile animals can move around. Animals also exhibit different modes of locomotion. It is demonstrated when a horse runs swiftly, when a grasshopper hops, when a fish swims to migrate. And some animals are in a fixed place like corals and sponges. These kinds of animals were also motile during the early stages of their lives. But eventually, in adult form, they are considered to be in a fixed place position. To understand the vast diversity of the animal kingdom, biologists group animals based on their unique characteristics, like the presence and absence of the backbone. Let's try first talking about invertebrates. Sponges are aquatic animals with simple body systems. They do not have a mouth, muscle, heart, or brain. Sponges are in a fixed position. They are usually found on ocean floors. During the early stages of development, sponges swim freely as they become adults. They attach themselves to rocks or soil and become stationary. They have an exoskeleton called the spicules, which provides support to their body structure. Just like sponges, Nidarians are aquatic animals. Jellyfishes, sea fans, sea anemones, hydras, and corals are nidarians. Nidarians lack internal organs and a nervous system. They are hollowed-bodied animals with only one opening. Their mouth is surrounded by a finger-like projection called a tentacle. Tentacles are used in getting food. They feed on algae or zooplanktons. 
they take in oxygen directly from the water. Then the cells undergo diffusion to transport oxygen, nutrients, and waste in and out of the organism. The darians have no anus. They excrete waste through their mouth. Flatworms are also known as platyhelminths. They are soft, unsegmented worms that have tissues and simple organ systems. They are a very diverse group of worms that includes 20,000 species. Flatworms exhibit bilateral symmetry. The left and the right side look similar. Most flatworms, such as the tapeworm and flukes, are parasitic. They depend on host for food and nutrition. There are also non-parasitic flatworms, such as the planaria. The planarias are carnivores and eat tiny aquatic invertebrates, such as crustaceans and worms. Food and waste products in flatworms pass through the same body opening, the pharynx. Through diffusion, gases pass through the different tissues. Flatworms also have cilia and muscle cells movement. They reproduce sexually and asexually. Roundworms or nematodes are unsegmented worms with the tough outer cuticle that are shed as they grow. Ascaris, hookworms, and pinworms are roundworms. Hookworms and pinworms are parasitic nematodes, which are harmful to other animals. Parasite lives in or another organism, from which it gets its nutrients. Ascaris are free living and parasitic too. Nematodes have a digestive tract comprised of mouth and anus. They feed on animals smaller than them, while some types of nematodes eat algae, diatoms, and fungi, or fungi. Like flatworms, gas exchange in roundworms takes place through diffusion in their skin. Roundworms also have a simple nervous system that is composed of two nerves that run through their bodies. They are able to move by contracting their muscles and by thrashing back and forth. Segmented worms, also known as annelids, have segmented bodies that look like stacks of rings. Each segment is divided by septa. The segments are united by the digestive, muscular, circulatory, and nervous system. Earthworms, leeches, and marine bristle worms are segmented worms. Annelids are land and water dwellers. Many of them are filter feeders, animals that obtain food by filtering organisms from water that passes through them. Mollusks is one of the most diverse groups of animals with at least 50,000 species. Mollusks have soft bodies and a hard exoskeleton, foot, mantle, and a mass of internal organs. They live in water and land like snails, slugs, clams, squids, and octopus are considered to be mollusks. Terrestrial mollusks, such as snails and slugs, move slowly with their use of their muscular foot. Some mollusks, like oyster and clams, are fixed creatures, fixed position creatures. A mollusk has a layer of tissue called mantle, which covers most of its body. The mantle protects the internal organs as well. These are the digestive, nervous, excretory, reproductive, circulatory, and respiratory system. Some mollusks are univalves, like snails. As they have one shell, others like clams, oysters, and scallops are bivalves and have two shells. Arthropods are diverse groups of animals that live in oceans, fresh water on land and in air. Arthropods include insects, spiders, centipedes, millipedes, and among the others. Arthropods include insects, spiders, centipedes, and millipedes. The entire body of arthropods is covered by hard outer skeleton called exoskeleton that supports their body weight. The exoskeleton is made out of chitin. Arthropods undergo molting when they get bigger. When an arthropod molts, it sheds and splits its exoskeleton. Now, arthropods feed on plants, other animals, and even on dead matter. Some are filter feeders, while some are parasitic. Just like mollusks, they have a mouth and an anus. They have an open circulatory system with heart and arteries. Most crustaceans have three body segments, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Lobster, crayfish, barnacle, crab, and shrimps are crustaceans.
They have two pairs of sensory antennae and mandible, also called jaw, for chewing food. Most have a covering at the back made of chitin called carapace. Scorpion, spiders, sticks, and mites are called arachnids. Their body is divided into two segments, a cephalothorax and an abdomen. A cephalothorax is the head of a thorax fused together. They usually have eight legs and no antennae. Many arachnids use silk either to catch prey or help them reproduce. Centipedes and millipedes have long body composed of many segments. Each segment of a centipede has one pair of legs. Centipedes have poison claws behind the head to paralyze their prey, usually insects. Millipedes live outdoors in moist areas. They feed on decaying vegetable matter. They protect themselves by rolling their bodies into tight coils. Grasshopper, beetles, dragonfly, and pea and moth are insects. Like some crustaceans, they have three body segments. Many insects are aerial. Their pair of wings is attached to the thorax. Insects have a pair of antennae for smelling and tasting. They also have simple eyes and pair of compound eyes. These compound eyes allow butterfly and bees see in color. You have probably seen a sea star, brittle star, starfish, sea urchin, or sand dollar. These species are all echinoderms. Echinoderms are aquatic animals with spiny skin surrounding an exoskeleton. They are marine species found usually on sea floors. Echinoderms can be filter feeders, herbivores, carnivores, or detritivores that feed on dead organisms. Echinoderms have a radial symmetry, which means their body parts are arranged around a single axis. Echinoderms have tube feet with suction cup-like ends used in movement, feeding, respiration, and sensory reception. Animals with a backbone or spinal column are vertebrates. They are also called chordates. Backbone provides support and shape to the bodies of these animals. It also houses the spinal cord of the animal. Fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals are vertebrates. Fishes are the largest group of vertebrates with more than 30,000 species. There are vertebrates that live in water. Mostly fishes have paired gills, fins, and scales. They are cold-blooded animals, meaning their body temperature depends on the temperature of the environment. Some fishes search for sunlight to warm their bodies. Others seek a shaded area or water to cool off. Fishes can be herbivores, carnivores, filter feeders, detritivores, as well as parasites. They also have a digestive system. They have kidneys and anus for excretion of waste materials. The gills, found on both sides of the head of the fish, are used to obtain oxygen. As the water enters the fish's mouth, it passes through over the gills. Gills also strain food from the water. The fins of a fish are used for movement. Some have gas-filled swim bladder that regulates buoyancy. The swim bladder enables the fish to maintain depth without floating or sinking. Based on certain characteristics, fishes are grouped into three categories. Jawless fishes, cartilaginous fishes, and bony fishes. Let's study first jawless fishes. The first fishes to evolve look like eels. Their skeletons are made out of fiber and cartilage instead of bones. They do not have jaws and scales, but they have a round, open mouth called oral discs. Lampreys use their mouth and teeth to attach themselves to other fishes. They suck the fish's blood. Hagfish mostly feed on dead animals on the seafloor. Hagfishes secrete mucus to threaten predators. Cartilaginous fishes have skeletons made out of cartilage rather than bone. They have jaws and tough scales. They breathe through the spiracles on top of their heads. This allows them to rest on the bottom of the ocean without breathing sand. Some examples of these fishes, as you can see in the picture, are sharks, a ratfish, skate, and stingray. Bony fishes have their skeletons made out of bones. They also have jaws and scales. They have an operculum, 
a hard bony plate covering and protecting the gills. The word amphibian means double life. Basically, it means they live both on land and in water. During larva stage, the amphibians spend their lives in water. As adults, they spend their lives on land. Like fishes, they are also cold-blooded. Amphibians are egg-laying or what we call oviparous animals. Amphibians' eggs are fertilized externally and undergo metamorphosis. As adults, most amphibians live on land with damp environment to keep their thin skin moist. Most people are afraid of snakes, chameleons, lizards, alligators, and crocodiles. These animals are called reptiles. Reptiles are characterized by their body covering called scales or bony plates. The scales provide physical protection and prevent water loss. Similar to fishes and amphibians, they are also cold-blooded. Their temperature depends on the temperature of their surroundings. Hence, reptiles develop ways to increase or decrease their body temperature to stay alive. Reptiles' mode of nutrition varies. Some groups of some groups of turtles are herbivores, while crocodiles, snakes, and alligators are carnivores. They are produced by means of internal fertilization. Some reptiles lay eggs, which is oviparous. Birds are warm-blooded vertebrates. They have a constant body temperature that stays the same even when the surrounding temperature changes. Birds are the only animals covered with feathers that are made out of keratin. Their feathers serve many functions. They act as insulators to maintain the bird's constant body temperature. They are also used for flight. Their feathers help them attract and search for a possible mating partner. Birds have beaks or bills too. Beaks and bills are bony keratin-covered projections forming on the mouth and do not have teeth. Birds are adapted to getting wide variety of food like insects, seeds, meat, nectar, and among the others. How are animals in this picture called? There are nearly 5,000 species of animals that populate the animal kingdom. They are divided into three main groups, the monotremes, marsupials, and placental mammals. Monotremes are egg-laying mammals. Examples of this one would be duck-billed platypus and echidna. Marsupials are pouched mammals that carry their young in their pouches. Examples of these are kangaroos and possums. Placental mammals develops inside the mother's body. Examples of these are humans, bats, hedgehogs, carabaos, cows, horses, dolphins, whales, and giraffe, among others. Mammals are the most complex animals. If observed closely, mammals have hair and mammary glands. They reproduce through internal fertilization, and most mammals are viviparous. Animals play a vital role in the lives of humans. Let's start first with the source of food. Food is a basic need to survive. Humans like you are consumers that depend on other organisms for food and nutrition. For entrepreneurship and livelihood, this one talks about today's growing population, demands more animal products. Making an animal industry is a profitable enterprise. As a result, it creates employment opportunities for more people. Animals are in a constant interaction with their environment. In return, these interactions ensure the occurrence of a nutrient cycle in nature. In the past years, researchers used animals like mice and rats to better understand the mechanisms of some human diseases, the development of the new medicine, and application of surgical procedures, which is research. Researches enable people to build and improve knowledge in different areas of science like anatomy, physiology, nutrition, and immunology. Some animals have been domesticated and have become a companion to humans. Dogs and birds have been pets for most people. Some find relief from everyday stresses when they play with their pets. Some animals also can be trained to assist people with disabilities. Biodiversity refers to the number of species and their range of behavioral, ecological, and physiological adaptations in an area. 
wide rainforest areas are being destroyed as humans develop land for agriculture, urban development, and water projects including dams and hydroelectric power plants. As a result, animal habitat is lost. Animals eventually become extinct. Extinction refers to the disappearance of an animal species or population due to the several factors. Pollution is the introduction of harmful substances to the environment. It brings contaminants or pollutants in soil, water, and air. Known pollutants are pesticide, aerosol sprays, phosphates from detergents, metals from cellular. Illegal trade is one of the biggest threats in an endangered animal species. Wildlife poaching is the illegal hunting, killing, or capturing of wild animals. Elephants are killed for their ivory tusks, while tigers are killed for their skin and bones. Just like humans, animals are affected by pests that transmit diseases. These diseases kill animals. Some pests compete with animals for food and habitat. Some eat the eggs and young of animals and attack the adults. Let's summarize everything using our chapter concept now. Animals have characteristics, which includes presence of backbone. These may be used to classify animals into vertebrates and invertebrates. Invertebrates include sponges, nidarians, flatworms, roundworms, segmented worms, mollusks, arthropods, and echinoderms, while vertebrates include birds, fishes, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. If you have questions about the topic, feel free to type it in the comments below. If you learned something today, don't forget to like this video and if you're interested in more educational videos to come, click that subscribe and notification bell to be notified on the latest videos. I'll see you guys on my next video. And don't forget, you are your only limit.